Well, Paul, your team gave it a really good go tonight. Ultimately knocked out, but you must be very proud of your team. Yeah, very, very proud. I thought it was a uh, very proud of the team, very proud of the 3,000 fans that troubled up on a cold Saturday night. Glad we could send them back down the road, not winning, but not not feeling any embarrassment, you know, especially after the poor performance against Stoke. And um, yeah, I, I think you know a lot of these players, you know, will never get a chance to do this again, you know, and uh, it's a dream come true for a lot of these players. So I thought it was first half we started a little bit edgy, you know, we sensed the, it's tough to come to this place, you know, I've played it for six years and you, you know, and you, it's a tough place to come to. So, um, you know, and I thought the first 15 minutes we looked a little bit nervous, which is, which is understandable. Um, but then obviously once, I think, I think once, once the goal that was disallowed for VAR, I thought that kind of gave us a bit of a lift to be fair. Uh, and to go in at half time nil nil, and also we could have gone in one nil with a goal from uh, Junior, it was unlucky. Uh, we built, give, us, give us a load of confidence, Rich, really a load of confidence. And um, you could sense second half the crowd a little bit quiet, and I just thought, oh, maybe, maybe you start to dream then, didn't you? You start to think, could this be our night? And uh, listen, the first half they had, I wouldn't say a lot of clean cut chances, but balls getting flashed across their box, which they would do. You know, they would do. And um, But you just kind of sense, start to think, oh, this could be our night, you know, but then. We don't go with a runner, poor def defensive d defending, and uh, that allows a, you know, the, you know, these fans to get up for it again, and then it was tough then after that. It's, you, you touched on it in a way, really, is that when you, that team sheet comes out, you're thinking maybe they'll do you a favour or two, rest <laughs> a few players, and goodness me, that was, they couldn't have gone a lot stronger, could they, really? No, and you know what, I'm glad, I'm glad, you know what I mean, because when you come to Old Trafford, you want to play against the best players. And I think Ten Hag actually showed me, the team, you know, the fans and the club, a lot of respect by going, he's, he's best players, you know, because all week we've been saying, is Rashford going to play, is Fernandez, Fernandez going to play, and, you know, you kind of, it's a guessing game. Um, so for him to go full, full pelt at it shows a lot of respect for us as a team, and we've got to use it as confidence and positivity going into the next game. Uh, he's touching it too. Our players sort of went full pelt too in the sense that, yeah, these young guys, you know, the back three at the end of all in their early 20s, mm. you know, Amadou scoring here at Old Trafford, you know, you wouldn't have dreamed of that, you know, maybe six months ago. And Michael Craig comes on. It's a great occasion for a lot of these guys, isn't it? It is. If you, if you go, if you look back to the start of this season, you know, Amadou, you know, and Bengi, whatever, would have dreamt that he, you know, he'd get to score at Old Trafford. You know what I mean? He would, he would have put us, you know, in the down or something, you know what I mean? And then look, Craigie, you know, playing at Old Trafford against the best players in the in the world, you know, and Tom Mack, Tom Holmes. These are, you know, these are, these are things that should inspire you as a player, you know, to make you go forward, to make you be positive, to make you say, listen, you know, we've got 18 games to go. We've got to keep going because this game today gives us a lot of comes that we can mix it with anybody, especially after the 4-0 against Stoke. And listen, it's great for Amadou to get a goal. You know, should have had the second one, Ty should have scored. Thomas was absolutely brilliant down the right hand side. Um, again, Thomas played very well. Again, again, you see the level that he's at. You know, he's a very good player. And, and I said to Ty, "Yeah, Old Trafford, shoot, shoot, just shoot. You've got chances going to Old Trafford, shoot." You know, and um, and he didn't. Took too many touches. So that could have been three two. But I mean, it's the sad part. But it was the sending off. You know, uh, I think the first one, the referee couldn't wait to get his card out. I mean, the linesman's not flagged. The Mate United players have walked up to see if it was a goal kick. Uh, and the referee couldn't wait to get his flag out. It was, it was an embarrassing decision. But then after that, you know you're on a yellow card and you walk on a tightrope. And he, had, he made a foul on Ericsson, which could, could easily have been another yellow card. Um, and then obviously the one where he slipped, to be fair. I mean, the referee carries on. It's only because the fans kind of shouted that he kind of turned back and gave him a yellow card. And, you know, I presumed it was just going to be a red card, missed the next FA Cup game if you're in it. But unfortunately for us, it's the next... League championship game, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Am I wrong? Or am I'm I not right? sure, but yeah. Hope I'm hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully. I'm hopefully I'm wrong. But then again, Shane come on, looked lively, looked good. Uh, and then when we got the goal to make it 3-1, you know, it's just it's just respectable. It's a respectable scoreline. So I think one of their players' wages was all of our budget in one. So that shows where we are at the moment. But listen, you're right. People like Craigie, they've got the experience. Tom Holmes, Tom Mack, you know, even Dino coming on for the last 15, 20 minutes. It was a great exercise. Now we've got to rest our legs. This is a tire and tiring pitch. And emotionally, it takes a lot out of you. Not, not just physically. So we're going to have to rest our legs for a couple of days because then we've got to play Watford on a Saturday. And lastly, 
70,000 of their fans, 3,000 of ours, all you know, showing a bit of love for you there as well, which is which it's a lovely for you to come back to. I know it's not been about you as such, but, no. it, but it is, but it is good, good for you too. Yeah, of course. I think half of them are too young to remember who I, who I was, but the heart, the ones that were, you know, it was great to get a nice little round of applause. Uh, and obviously, you know, my own fans, my own Reading fans, you know, as much as I had six years, you know, at this great club with these great fans, you know, I've also got my fans up there in the corner and they sang their hearts out. Uh, and, you know, it's great to hear. It's great to hear, you know, at times. And that's the thing, when we can hear our Reading fans in front of 73,000, it says we're doing something right on the pitch and we're quite the mate United fans now. But listen, great to come back. Got some great memories just in here. It's changed a little bit since I was here, but, you know, we've... You know, we had some great times here, but listen, first and foremost, this is about Reading Football Club, my players, the financial stuff we get from, from the gates, and obviously all my fans you know, drive up at 8 o'clock to watch this game. Hopefully they get a safe journey back, and hopefully we can regroup and go again on Saturday.